This morning's Health Watch, promising news on breast cancer for women taking drugs to prevent bone loss. Early show contributor Dr. Holly Phillips of WCBS-TV is here to fill us in. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Maggie. Millions of women take these drugs. Thousands were studied by these researchers. What did they find about their breast cancer risk? Well, these were really surprising and impressive results. Basically, women who took these drugs long-term, meaning for longer than a year, had up to a third less, they were a third less likely to develop breast cancer than women who didn't take these drugs. And in particular, it was a deadly form of breast cancer, known as invasive breast cancer. So it really did make a big difference. Now, of course, what are it's these early. Drugs? Some examples include Fosamax, uh, Actinel, Boniva. These are drugs taken by millions and millions of women to prevent osteoporosis. But if it has this sort of silver lining of preventing breast cancer as well, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I wonder if some women will think to take this just for breast cancer prevention. Right. Well, Maggie, it's it's far too early that we, for us to suggest that women take it specifically for breast cancer prevention. Uh, we do know that they are safe and effective in preventing bone loss and preventing osteoporosis in high-risk women. Uh, but it's too soon to say, take these drugs to prevent breast cancer. And they do have some side effects, uh, particularly muscle and joint pains. Mm. Uh, for some people, when they take the, the drugs, they're hard to swallow. They are big pills. You have to sort of sit up for a while after you take them. Uh, so they're not for everyone. In the meantime, what are some known safe breast cancer prevention tips? Well, really, the the the, the big the big picture here is you have to maintain a healthy weight. Uh, and you also should follow, follow a, a plant-based diet. Uh, try and avoid too many meat products, try and avoid refined sugars, refined flours. Uh, and exercise we know is a breast cancer fighter. Uh, so the more exercise you can get, really the better. Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you so much.